Yo, what's flipping burritos, guys? It's your boy Prevised here. Um, before I begin, I just want to say that uh, sorry for the inactivity for like one week. I'm very sorry. Been busy and still is kind of busy. Um, and for all those who say my scripts do not work, like I see sometimes in the comment section, this script doesn't work, and then you want to start cussing me out and stuff. <clears throat> Uh, the reason why not to be mean or anything, it's because it's you that you don't know how to, I mean, of course, you might not know how to script very well, and you don't understand the script, and you're doing something wrong. It's not my fault. I mean, why would you say I'm, I, like, I don't know how to script, and the script's not working because of me? Why blame it on me if I even show you proof in the video that it works? And... I wouldn't even post the video if the script doesn't even work, really. I mean, that's pretty retarded. So, of course, the script works. I mean, it's just because you don't know or you don't know what the error is, you know? So, if you ever have a problem with that, your, the script's not working, don't get stressed out and mad and everything if it doesn't work. Just paste the code in the comment section, but say it doesn't work. So, that's that's basically it. Um, so to get on with the tutorial, wow, that just made one minute. That's crazy. Um, so I'm going to be teaching you how to make a, um, a rocket, like, uh, a rocket, you know, kind of go up and stuff, you know, basically it like, a <clears throat> how to make it rocket go up into the sky, just straight up, just very basic, but, um, there's multiple ways how to do this, but the way I'm going to teach you is by a clickable button, button, um, but yeah, that's basically it. So first off, what you want to do, let's see, sorry about that. All right, so first off, of course, you want to have a rocket, okay? So I have my rocket. So <clears throat> first thing, you want to make the rocket look like it's on the ground. So mine's on the ground. Um, now what I'm going to do, I have this fire effect. Now I'm not sure if you guys are going to be having like a fire effect whenever it's going to first go off. Oh, and I have a smoke effect too. Forgot about that one. Um, so I have a fire and a smoke. The I found this from the free models, the fire and the smoke, because I'm not very good with particle making particles. But yeah, so <clears throat> I'm gonna teach you how to use these and how to enable these. But whenever it first goes off on, like first floats up. Um, so don't worry about the script. Ignore the script in here. So basically, f okay. So you build the rocket. Okay, we have the rocket. Whenever once you built it all, you want to group the, all the parts. Then select all the parts by pressing on the first part all the way at the top, and then hold shift. Excuse me, hold shift and press on the bottom part, and then anchored. Make it false. Okay. All right. Next, you're going to need a plugin or a, a weld script. Um, so I have this <coughs> weld thing uh, it's called Motor Creator. Um, I believe it's this Motor 6D Maker by the Nexus Avenger. So you can look Motor 6D Maker, just how I have it here. Um, by it's by the Nexus Avenger. Install once you install that, oh, reopen your studio. All right. So how you weld everything is, you click on the first part. Um, no, actually, no. You click on your main part. So in this case, my main part. I would make your main part somewhere in the middle, like a, like how it's basically in the middle. Like it, mine's in the middle at the bottom, or you can make it like at the top. But see, my main part is just gonna be the fire, like where the fire comes out of. Um, or you could just make the main part, you know, this the tip part over here. So yeah, so um, my main part is gonna be fire. So what you wanna do is click on create welds for the in the plugins so select it says select your part zero so your part zero be, would be your main part which is gonna in my case it's fire okay so I'd press done and then once you press done then it's gonna show something with part one and with that you would select all your parts all the parts in the model and then press done and then you press close and then all the welds should be in your main part which is all right here all right and then I have fire and then <coughs> the smoke that's in here which is going to be my main part and then yeah um don't worry about the primary part you don't need to do that um and also another thing is body force okay now 
You right click on your main your main part, insert object and find body force. Okay. Um now what I would recommend doing after you've done everything what I've told you, what you should do is um So once you insert the body force, don't change the value. Just don't worry about changing the value. Go right here and press run. Now what you would do is pretty much you want to find the low, as you can see, um, the value that I have to make it go up on the y-axis is pretty low. That's why it starts off slow and then it's just going to keep going faster. So what you need to do is experiment with find the lowest value to make it actually go up go upwards slowly unless you want to make the value like really high and it's just gonna go really high quick um, but yeah so here's like my lowest value so it's gonna start off slow and it's just gonna keep going faster you know um, now it works by X Y and Z these are the axes or the axis so I want mine the my rocket to go straight up so it's on the Y axis which is up and down um, if you want it, to, want it to go down you just add the negative sign. Um, this is going to be a pretty long tutorial. Um, so once you found out your value, which you want, how, how um, like the strength of like how you, the force of how you want it to go, copy that value, and then once you have it copied, just make it all zeros. Because whenever you run <clears throat> or whenever you play, you don't want it going anywhere. How she's going to stay still. So this is when the script comes in. Um, so like I said, don't worry about that ma mass script. That's just something I'm testing. Uh, all right. So the script. I'm gonna make a part. So we're gonna pretty much be making whenever you click on this part, then it's gonna lift off. So in your part, you're just gonna make a part. Insert object, a click detector. So that way we're able to click the part. Um, click detector right here. And inside the part, we're also going to make a script. All right, clip detector. If you click on that, and you see max activation distance. That's just how many studs away you're um, able to click on the part. First off, we're we're going to want to access the model. So local model equals workspace. Instead of saying game dot workspace, you could just simply say workspace dot rocket. Uh, dot ro rocket is my model name. Um, now I would do wait for a child just to be in case just in case your rocket has not been loaded up in workspace yet. All right, then we can do uh, local fire. So this variable name is just gonna be fire because that's the name of my main part. Now, um, actually, what I'm just gonna do is just name it main because you know it's our main part. And we're gonna go inside model, which model is our rocket, which is this. All right, then we want to grab our main part. So my main part name is fire. So what you would do here, right here, is put it to the part name of your main. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do script.parent. So let me go back to the part right here. So script, whenever we say script, that's the script that we're inside. And then we do dot parent, which is the part. Then we want to do dot click detector. Dot click detector dot mouse click mouse click whoa they got it with a with a lowercase w that's weird and then connect function so this function is going to run whenever we click on the part okay so basically what it's saying is once we click on the part then the code goes here so what we want is main dot main dot so this is our main dot fire so I have something called fire in um inside so main dot fire dot enabled because enabled is a property of this and then we want to make enabled equals to true because it's a boolean a bool value then we do main dot smoke dot enabled equals true so that way the smoke and the fire is going to come on then we want to change the body force so main dot body force equals vector three dot new now if you wonder what vector three dot new is kind of hard to explain but it holds three values like position uses a, like if you want to change the position of something like a part it change you use the vector three dot new uh, size uses vector three dot new and then a um, orientation uses a vector three dot new 
because <clears throat> it has three values. So pretty much everything with three values uses the vector 3.new. All right, so you want to change the body force. Um, so we go in body force, so main.bodyforce, dot force. This force is a property, so I need that dot force, <clears throat> dot force equals vector. So we change the force to vector 3.new. And then here we put in our value that we had before. Um, so yeah, so this is going to pretty much be a very basic tutorial. Uh, all right. So, whenever we click on it, boom, fire starts. Yep. And if you see the fire looks kind of weird, it's because my graphics quality is uh down. See, now you can see it a lot more, but my computer can't run that. So yeah, that's basically it, guys. So I I don't know exactly what's gonna happen if I keep pressing the part. Uh, well, wrong trip. Anyways, that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't hate. That's pretty much it. Peace out.